Now, I don't think there's ever been a more exciting time for music in, you know, in, in its entire history, it's especially with the way that the whole of the internet has opened up and it's become this kind of great leveller. It seems like it is a really like sort of another tipping point actually like yeah. right now, particularly in the States where like, you know, dubstep hasn't really been, I mean, it's people know about it and love it, but it hasn't really been like so like fever pitch as it is right now. I totally agree with you. I think at this point, it's reached the next level. London is an absolutely fascinating city. I mean, it's very much like Los Angeles or New York in terms of the fact that it attracts a lot of really, really ambitious immigrants, if you like. These kind of nomadic people who gravitate towards the city because of its history, because of its creative energy, and because of the fact that they want to surround themselves with kindred spirits, you know. And they feel that that's the best possible way to, to position themselves. There's this amazing energy in the media right now, this hunger to, to, to find out what's going on with the scene. But mm -hmm. yeah, you know, there's all kinds of mutant strains of the sound, you know, it's all <laughs> yeah. really born out of Gary. But of yeah, funky's, uh, funky's happening. If you really want to find out what's going on with Funky right now, you've got to go and listen to Code 9. He is the man who plays mm -hmm. Funky like no other. Um, Rinse FM as well, which right. you can get online. They, they, yeah, they're hosting a whole bunch of new Funky shows on, on, on Rinse, the, the pirate station on, on, in the UK. But you can, I think it's Rinse.com. You can. Rinse.fm. Yeah, oh, right. I'm on there so constantly. she knows. She knows. <laughs> I'm, an, I'm a huge nerd. <laughs> yeah. But also, it would be, you know, it would be very remiss of me not to mention Bristol and the whole new kind of strain of purple sound that's coming out yeah. of Bristol. Producers like Joker and Jemmy who I think are going to blow up massively next yeah. year. The most fascinating sound that I've been completely enraptured by in the last few months has been the sound that's coming out of the West Coast, you know. Mm -hmm. So, um, obviously all the Brain Feeder crew headed up by Flying Lotus, mm -hmm. um, all the Low End Theory crew, um, they're, they're just doing such incredibly inspirational things right now, I think. And, um, I mean, Flying Lotus for me is like the Hendrix of his generation. Yeah. I think what he does with electronic equipment is very similar to what Hendrix was doing with a guitar years ago, you know. Mm -hmm. And I remember many years ago, Ronnie Size, who I absolutely love, I'm sure you know, like a huge UK drum and bass hero, yeah. always said to me like, um, girls love bass music because it rattles their ovaries and I thought <laughs> it's kind of probably a fair point well made actually from Ronnie you know but for me it's, it's almost it's 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 deeper and it's somewhere right at the very right at the very back of your cerebral cortex maybe I don't know it's it, a, a tune will will literally weave itself into your subconscious and you just hear it like the refrain echoing in the back of your mind, or I do anyway, so <laughs> I walk around endlessly sort of putting myself in a situation where I'm virtually run over because I've got some tune banging away in the back of my head. Oh, didn't see that truck. <laughs>